Hello, 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 dear friends, and welcome back to one of my videos. Uh, it's been away for a long, well, for some time, but uh, now I'm back. And after some vacations, I bring you another episode of Most Beautiful Banknotes. This is episode number 12, and today I'm bringing you the Tunisia 1,000 franc from the beginning of the 50s. And as usual, we'll start with a bit of back history. So Tunisia in itself is a relatively young country as an entity called Tunisia. But we know from since the ancient times that it is mostly populated by the Berber, a people and at the peak of its history was actually a very important or had a capital of a very important empire the phoenicians arrived in uh, in what is now tunisia and, and put their capital in Carthage in the 12th century before christ and around the 8th or 7th century before christ uh, they uh, had with one of the biggest empires of the mediterranean as you can see here in green and this of course lasted for five six centuries until they were finally defeated by the romans and um Carthage fell to the roman empire and uh, this part of the world in north africa was then under for many centuries under roman um influence but again after that, it also uh, was conquered by the Arabs and finally in the 14th, 16th, 14th or 15th century by the Ottoman Empire, so by the Turks. And, well, the last colonizers were the French, which gained this territory back in 1881, um, together with, of course, Algeria. It's basically already in the end of this French um, called colonialism that uh, comes this this series it's a series from 1950 to 52 um at this time tunisia and algeria were important scenarios from the second world war in the 40s um and well basically they had become extremely important territories and uh, also you can see here that around this time it was already when algeria was not really at war yet but you could see independent movements coming in from from this this part also uh, with influence from egypt and the arab nations or the arab league the french franc was also highly uh, well uh, there was some 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 inflation in france which uh, made it hard and there were valuations of the french franc which was tied to of course the the french of algeria and uh, Tunisia but here you can see clearly that there's some uh, lack of Arabic um, influence in this banknote which are very beautiful but they are mostly about neoclassical um, history um, of the territory and not so much about any Arabic influence these are the series is this three banknotes is the 500 the thousand that I'm going to speak about and the 5000 the thousand is for me the most beautiful one not really this part in the front but the back but basically in the front uh, you can see that the banknote is issued by uh, the bankers of Algeria and Tunisia although these territories were together but this banknote was only valid in Tunisia really and uh, the front part like uh, in the other two banknotes it has a scenery of well it's basically um i i was here like 15 20 years ago um it's uh, svetla and it's uh well basically uh some ruins of roman and byzantine influence in the center of tunisia really interesting to see there's a photo here on the right of what they look like nowadays they have been renovated and there's some real work and trying to put this together also given the dependence of um, Tunisia from tourists and not only beach tourism but also culture what really steals the show in this banknote is the back the back depicts um, a beautiful mosaic this mosaic is actually the one on the right um, it's in the Bardo Museum a very interesting museum in, in, in Tunisia probably the, the best one 
It's of course of Roman influence. The banknote does not really depict the whole uh, mosaic one to one. It's uh, the center, and then the rest is a bit about other influences, including some Arabic, <laughs> very tenuous. And uh, it's quite an impressive banknote in this, still in this French style. But imagine the detail of putting all of these together. Extremely hard, very beautiful banknote. Unfortunately, the prices of this one are relatively high and it's impossible to find an uncirculated unless it's a specimen. So the standard catalog of banknotes, um, the Kraus, says that this banknote actually exists in A and B, 29A and 29B, but that's not really, well, I have never seen a B one. The B one is supposed to be from 1957. Never seen that one. I'm not really sure if this actually exists. Um, the price in the Krauss or the standard catalog of war paper money are, well, they are well off. 300 for an extremely fine is, uh, well, it's, it's not going to happen. It's probably more that price in very fine, although I've seen some very fine at 156 and I saw some extremely fine at around 650 600 and 700 dollars and the last ones that I've seen coming up in auctions. The specimen, the specimen is nothing really that impressive besides the fact that the colors look a bit better. Um, I only know of this one, actually this one is the only one that exists, it's not that different, it just has the zeros as a serial number, uh, also zeros as a date, and then it has some specimen uh, dotted in, in the banknote. The price of this one, the last one that I saw, and I haven't seen many, was around 1,500 USD in uncirculated. So basically what is happening in Tunisia, basically Tunisian gained independence after the Algerian war in 1957. And um, well, what followed was basically two dictatorships. The first one that lasted 30 years from Habib Bourguiba, um, that lasted from 1957 to 1987. He was ousted in a coup by, well, one of his protégés, let's put it like this, uh, uh, ben Ali, and he was the president when I visited the country, and he had another dictatorship that lasted another uh, 24 years, right until the Arab Spring, when after one month of protests, the Ben Ali was forced to abdicate. Um, Tunisia is still heavily dependent, of course, on, on tourism, uh, and with this Arab Spring also came a lot of other problems, especially in religious part and religious extremist and while well, democracy is not even really a, a guarantee although the last governments have been theoretically democratic elected uh, right now in 2011 and following covid and some constraints regarding to absence of tourism in tunisia finally uh, there's just last month a couple of big protests in tunis Again, so who knows what the country is going to bring. Also, inflation is higher than in the past. And yeah, that was about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.